Another quick update from uh, the workroom here. Well, sort of from the road. I'm just driving home from the workroom. Um, we actually had an installation last week. Uh, yes, we're still closed, but we had finished a project months ago and it was for a designer by the name of Courtney Bishop from South Carolina. Uh, Courtney is a really well-known designer and had a project for a family moving to Amherst, Massachusetts, and we were lucky enough to get the project. And uh, we had the project finished, the house was empty. Um, I considered it a safe environment to install, so we went and put the, put the project in. The guys got together, the, uh, the vans, uh, one of them started, one of them didn't. Six weeks of uh, sitting around, so um, we got the project done. I happened to film a video uh, over the summer. It was about uh, August, about 10 to 15 pounds ago for me. And um, yeah, the, the house came out beautiful. Um, everything went very well. It's an amazing uh, uh, place with uh, just beautiful uh, gardens. And uh, it, it's, it's one of the nicer homes I've ever done. So um, yeah, well, I have a video from the summer, which is uh, interesting. Uh, that was Skinny Manny. And now this is Corona Mary, Manny. So. Um, but, uh, yeah, it went really well. I have some before and after photos, so we're going to post those and, um, take it from there. So still producing masks, but I, uh, you know, I want to give a shout out to, uh, Osborne and Little. They gave, gave us these amazing fabrics. Um, uh, they sent us over 200 yards of material. We made almost, uh, five, 6,000 yards, uh, sorry, 6,000 masks with that material. I have another one here. Um, you know, really fun. This one has a has a tie, uh, really fun uh, material, perfect for masks, and I really want to thank them for um, helping us continue to make masks. And uh, you know, the masks are going to more um, of the public, but the public, if it helps people uh, stay healthy, then it keeps them out of the hospital and it keeps them away from this uh, horrific uh, virus. And uh, most importantly, out of the hospitals and. Um, off of ventilators and stuff like that. Uh, but I feel positive, you know, it's gonna be a rainy week, but hey, you know what? I think it's uh, time to get back to work soon, carefully. And I'm looking forward to uh, to talking about more installations and more measures and more beautiful work and uh, do, going back to what we do and do well. So looking forward to it. Just a little follow-up piece about the masks. Um, we have given away pretty much all the masks we've made. Uh, and specifically two restaurant groups have reached out to us, uh, the 99 and the local. And uh, they both uh, were in need of, uh, of, you know, the appearance of the handmade mask. And, um, you know, I gave it to them at cost, uh, specifically uh, because I just feel like during these times, it's not right to make a profit off of uh, off of demand driven by fear and anxiety and, and danger for that matter. Um, thank you, George, my, um, my economics uh, tutor in grad school. Uh, he's also my first cousin uh, who got me through grad school. Uh, in, the no in a normal situation, I fully agree that, you know, demand drives price, but not in this situation. Um, I just don't think it's right to uh, to to make money off of off of fear and, and people in need. So we made these masks. Uh, they're beautiful. We're gonna probably end up probably around something like uh, eight to ten thousand masks. Um, and I can't. I, I have to thank my employees the most because they came in and sacrificed and did an amazing job. And. Um, and that's it for the mask. Thank you again, Osborne and Little, for really coming through. And, and don't get me wrong, there's been a lot of people who, who pulled through uh, to help us with these masks, but specifically Osborne and Little, who uh, donated over 200 yards of fabric. Thank you again.